It's time for bookkeeping, beer, and BS. Let's say somebody's like literally just starting from scratch. Um, what should they do first? Is it like a Facebook page, a website? Uh, what's like the bread and butter? Don't start growing your business without this, you know, marketing asset in place. Okay. Well, if you're watching the replay, let's go back and listen to what you just said, because that was absolutely gold. It's the biggest mistake a lot of people make. It's two months into the season. Now they're short people and they're frantically trying to get people hired while they're busier than they've ever been and just falls. So I'll, I'll ask gold. Sean to dive gold. into that. Sean's got so much data on it that your head would spin. We'll, we'll have Sean on that was really week good. if he's available to, to like really nerd out on the recruiting stuff. For now, we'll just assume that we have it solved. Yeah, I know that was really good. So if you're just starting out, so number one, reviews. <laughs> I mean, reviews, reviews. There's nothing more important than reviews. The number one buying signal for consumers is online trust. So you so have even I, I have I have one guy that's in a um, a coaching group that I'm coaching, and he doesn't have a website yet, but he does have a GMB. So you're saying get your get your company going and get your GMB going and get reviews. Get reviews, yeah. Before you, can, you start yeah, building the website, cheap, yeah, cheap single page website just. You just got to get reviews. And once you have reviews, then you can start, I call it controlling the controllables and I can control all of the ads. So for lawn landscaping, it's, I mean, local service ads, you have to get on local service ads, like immediately get reviews, get local service ads going, get Google ads going and uh, just start to just build your brand through the things that you can control and then getting Google reviews and optimizing your GMB. Um, after you've got that going. You, when, when, when you say all that stuff, we all just assume Google. Right, like, oh yeah, I don't, I don't know anybody that's like, yep. So I'm, I was on Bing the other day. Is there, is there any value in, in like doing that outside of Google and doing it on Bing or Yahoo or anything? Do you, do you guys even mess with that, Michael? Really, yeah. really depends where you are. Um, demographics is really important. So in California, where I live, um, Yelp is huge, mm. absolutely mammoth. If you ask somebody in Indiana or Wisconsin if they're using Yelp to grow their business, they're going to get laughed at. So. Angie's yeah, Bing list. is great. Everyone loves Angie's List by us. Yeah, there you go. It's like, okay. <laughs> so what, what are the stat I like to tell people is you want to figure out your maximum allowable customer acquisition cost. And once you know that number, then it doesn't matter how you acquire a customer. As long as you're getting a customer under that number, it could be Angie's List or Yelp or Google or Bing. It's shaking somebody's hand at the gas station. As long Word as you're adding below that number, find the point of diminishing returns, dump the ones that are higher and just go after it. Uh, but like starting with the, the paid places, because you don't have to be in business for a really long time to rank number one at Google ads, um, and then getting reviews that way you can start to, after that, focus on building your brand and building your brand is uh, boots on the ground. A lot of times, tell me if you guys experience this too, but once you get to like stage two, stage three, you know, two, three, $400,000 a year, people just stop doing boots on the ground. They literally built their business with yard signs and door hangers and clip flyers. Now all of a sudden they got two, three crews out and they're like, I don't need to do that anymore. And they just stop when it's like what literally got them to where they are. So I would say never stop boots in the ground, um, integrate it into your operations and your sales teams, uh, you know, what they do on a daily basis. And then just start hammering branding, whether it's marriage mailers like Filepack or SVP money mailer, usually a lower ROI, but you're getting a tons, tens of thousands of impressions. Lots every of exposure. Time goes yeah. out. Yep. Um, and then, or, uh, you know, if you've got the budget for it, radio, I'd make that stage three, but Facebook, Facebook ads for branding is fantastic. Lower closing percentage, tens of thousands of impressions. You're getting so many people to see your brand, especially landscaping when it's an emotional service.